Major Lake Dinners Club. All righty, so, well, that's how I just complete the cut, uh, the chapter right there. Uh, we're going to hop into the next one right here, Trip to the Country. It didn't go as planned, of course, because uh, you had a lot of unexpected stuff, but yeah, next chapter, Omerta, uh, still in 19, what? All right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Do the most one. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking for more old new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account to see who's getting cents on the dollar. What do you know? The books are down. Frank. More than 50 years I've known. <coughs> Shit. For every buck we burned, every dime we paid out, it's all gone from those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. The Fed respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. Holy I've been shit. Calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kids are gone. Why? Don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. The one you tried to drown? Yeah. The same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink him. Well, stupid kid, Tommy. Oh, yeah, no garbage. Gotta get those books back. Shake down all our savings. See you next day. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, we do what we gotta do. So we have to talk to Vincenzo. Have you got a drink of water? The stalls are full. Don't give them mud. They've got their own set of drinks. Some are special. So we have to 
go to bitch shop. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to pick up some stuff just, just because of, yeah. Just see if there's anything. Uh, there's a nice car here. Um, so, do I have to talk to anybody here? Nope. So, here we go. Oh. I forgot about... I'm still on these old controls to get into a car, man. So that's a car I haven't seen before. Uh, uh, maybe it gets it to, uh, to our garage after driving it for the first time. Oh, agile. It looks like this car is more agile. Okay. So, uh, let's just hop in here. Spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivor's rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the like loss this. of the as a national disaster. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to park it properly. The lives and families of those lost and the nation. We will bring you more on the disaster and the Navy's search as we receive it. Thank you for listening. We return now to our scheduled Here we go. Um, let's walk to the bitch shop. Okay. Okay, I finally get that button. Sounds like one of them. What a good car. LTV. Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. Make the eyes. Build the subway. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you hear? Heard car tracks on Dry Creek. Yeah, car from North Dakota. Heard a bunch of stuff, but it was the Dry Creek thing. Okay. Thanks. Fine little, little Tony. Always a pleasure. Yeah, always a pleasure, I guess. So, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead here. Welcome to a WLH sports report. The Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series. And we have arrived. Anything of interest you have for me? No. No, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who bit the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into bandit. He's high muscle, some kind of Zaytown. Where? Okay. Call it a turning. He gave me ten bucks to drive it back to my barber shop. He got off at the consulate club, broken some kind of deal with Vittoretto and the FBI. They were already busy tied up someone for him. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Greg straight away. He didn't tell the guy? No. No, he didn't. Uh, yeah, I, I just have to go. Uh, go get him, boys. Game 7 of the Gold Series takes place today. Lost Heaven Lane Series. Okay, so I'm pretty, yeah, it's, it's some dumbass baseball. It's, it, it doesn't matter, so. Yeah, man, so, you have to drive to the safe house now? Alright. So, uh, let's do so. We return now to the coverage of Game 7 of the Gold Series. By the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute. Yeah, <laughs> uh, rightfully so. Uh, I, and, and, and also, I found a way to do it, so I'm, I'm going to do it more. 
if it's something useless. Looks like the place. All right. Ah, oh, Frank. Frank with betrayal. God sakes. So it's a tailing mission, looks like, eh? So we gotta be careful. Take me to those account books, Frank. I thought he was going to turn left there, but okay. So Frank, he was like a cool guy. He looked look like a cool guy, and then, and then you just have to do this? Like, to show these freaking... You have to show our stuff to the feds? Come on. Come on, man. It would be great if I could just turn off the radio. Over. Right. So the Italian mission is going pretty well, you know. Uh, in some games, the Italian mission was very freaking annoying. You know, very annoying in some in some other games. And in this one, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, I mean, really not at all. Like, uh, I have not spooked once at all yet. Oh, he's a big man. Shut up, dying the radio. Oh, for God's sakes. And also, he literally has like two channels. To the airport. Okay, looks like. So I don't. Uh, okay then. Wow, but I wish you lost. Wow, bro. Very, very cringe back then, eh? Radio's commentating games. You have this dumbass music as well, bro. Holy hell. Right. 
So we are, we arrived at the airport. Christ, they're flying in my state or something. Fuck. I can find good. a hidden location. Okay. But what's happening, Frank? What's happening? What are you up to? Because this is looking very, very bad. Find where Frank is being taken. Let's try getting into these bushes. Alright. So, yeah. It, it was pretty easy to fill... To... To fly through. So is there anywhere to get in here? Like, okay. I have no clue how I'm gonna find out. Like, uh, I. Oh, wait. So you have to go in here? Is there a way to... Like, is there a way? No. So I have to, I have to hop in. Look for clues. Incoming handles over the world. What? We shut down the airport and send it. Go back to the public. Okay. So these are notes from cops. It looks like. Seems like. At least. That's up where Frank is. I have to get through that guard hey, first. Holy shit. So he just ran away? I should have subdued him. There's a box of ammo there. Okay. So I think they just lost sight of me. <laughs> I think they did. Oh, shit. Okay, so I, all I just needed to, all I did was just run. Tom, Frank here. The guy in Central. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tom. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish you could have shaken that badly, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay, you can come out. Holy, who's that? 
Grella asked me a simple prayer. The dawn's a comfort for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you I'm not so stupid, Tom. Just say. Morella was very for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd have it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before they left. But they did. They don't need to know that. There are much, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you coming with us? Not right now. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, Marsh. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. Ah, um, bro. Ah. You've been paid yet. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? Exactly. I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my car. Damn you, Frank. Oh yeah, just get out of here, man. <laughs> you're lucky. Nine nine point nine times out of ten, you're dead if you do that. And you just like <laughs> we're pretty nice for letting you off the hook for that. We're pretty freaking nice for doing this. So, you just get out of here. Bye-bye. So, now I have to find a way to get out of here. I think. I'm pretty sure. Unless it's just completely... Yeah, okay, never mind. It brings me somewhere else. Okay, then. So, uh... Yeah, the key for the bank. Getting the account books. What up, Benito? Here's the safety deposit boxes. It's my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. All right. Here's the bank. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> Here he come for these things. Out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes with Frank Coletti. Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you. Fine, Alice. Please, follow me. Okay. Follow the man. No, uh, you know, we're getting these account books. So he brings us right into a cutscene. All right. Salieri never asked any questions. Okay. Apart from the funeral. I never heard him talk about Frank again. So Frank died?
So he just, what the hell happened? Did he just burn his house? Holy. You're making my voice twitchy, Marco. So Jesus and I just came by to pay our respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Ah, oh, he's dead Almost then. As long as you. All right. Man. Smart. So well, he maybe died in the, pl in, in the plane. He's a kid he, above all else. You know, like the plane crash maybe. Some kind of honor in that, ain't it? I don't know. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Also, Frank was loyal for like most of the time. So that's the end of the chapter. Alright. I, I don't know which chapter number it is, but. Chapter Omerta complete. It's. So, yeah, we, we just found out Frank betrayed. And then maybe got killed from, from the plane. You know, a plane crash maybe, but. All I know is that we didn't kill him. But yeah, man. Next chapter.